decided to show you some applications from the Tan Toy form. Um, I want to talk for a minute on, on applications. There are really basically three levels of applications. The first is what you might call the obvious, where, for instance, if it's a punch, you just hit the guy. And the third level is where you maybe take a punch and do an entire technique on someone. You know, this follows that, this follows that, this follows that. The middle level is the interesting one. That's where the movements are still simple, just one or two movements, but it shows the essence of that particular motion. Like, for instance, the very first punch of the Tantoi, you're going to find is a sliding punch, where you make contact with the arm of the opponent. And that's what we're going to mostly be showing you, is just one or two step applications that give the essence of each of the Tantoi moves. Now, that doesn't mean it's the only possible interpretation with that. There are others, too, of course. In fact, there's an old Chinese saying that if you concentrate too much as you practice on what each meaning is, you're losing 99 other meanings. And that's why forms are so general in the first place. But this should give you some idea of what each of the roads has contained within it and how it can be used. Again, so from here, wait, this is, this one more time. Yeah, I'm going to indicate that right hand. Here. Good. Now, if you throw that one this way anyway, right? So from here, if you hook with this one, here this way, this way. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Over right here. Right. This way. Or now, in here. This way. This one. Okay. Punch me that one. Punch me. Right, now throw that. So from there. Throw right and wait a second, throw a left. Now throw a left. Okay, so from here, you throw a right low. Okay, so okay. All right, next one. Back now, go. Still number one. Good one. Good one. But it works. It works. Here, so it's good. You know, that's that made it work. Mm -hmm. Now for entire. Uh, Go ahead. Same thing. Same thing. Right punch. Uh, right punch. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Right, left punch. <laughs> this is what they think it's going to look like, what this is going to look like, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to just try to tell you what you're doing. Okay. The first is the right. Good. Now I'm the right punch again. Yes. Good. Grab my wrist. So that's the first set. Okay, let's just take basic skills that we're talking about. Okay, first set has the yoke punch, which means a couple things. Guy throws a punch, throws a punch. What you're learning to do is suppress. Okay, so you suppress the throws, suppress, suppress. Right. The the position of the arms perfectly aligns your body. But when you suppress, so you're in the correct alignment, not overshot. So if you were like this with that yoke punch. That yoke is bent. You're overshot. So all it's really teaching you is, in the set, it goes like this. Now, if he hooks me down here, that could be right. 
Notice what you're doing. At first, it said you're not throwing your arm back, but you're also moving into it. So it's meaningless unless you move into it. So here, unless I move into it. Okay? So that's the first one. Second one is pull back with an elbow. Well, you know something? Whenever you pull, like say you're pushing up, right? That's what elbows are about because you're rotating. So it seems like you're pulling back, and really, you're just rotating. Maximum elbow. I mean, that's what we get. You can interpret it this way, too. But that's not really where it was. Remember, it was here, and went like that. So the angle is this way. All right? Then the next one is pretty self-explanatory, back and forth. But there's actually some thinking there. He throws a punch, and I can go like this, right? Or I can move to the side, or I can block it. But you know what? I can also look at it as an opponent. Right? So the nice thing about a back and forth arc is the hitting and the blocking are simultaneous. Same thing off this side. You can get the right angle. It doesn't mean you're going to get in, it doesn't mean you're getting your maximum power. But if there's enough force to stop you, that means it's good to go in here, right? So if you if you put a little more force drivers to push against me, that means that's a given. That make sense? All right. The next one is the hooking action. Now there's a couple ways to do this. He throws here, all you really learn should be your arm. See, so instead of going, I can't tell you how many people I've seen when they're punched here, they go over here. Right? So instead, you should drop on the medial line, and there it is. So you learn to drop on the medial line. So from here, here's the medial line, you come back to the medial line again. So when I, once I reach it, I know where it is. So it's an odd motion, not this way. It's not a hook. It's this way and forward. Almost like it makes a right turn there. So from here, he hits low, and I can hit that. He hits low again, he hits, he hits at me, I can hit that. Or, he's got, I'm going to grab both hands just to show the point. So it's this one, see, the only reason he's stronger than I, well, as he holds down on me, there's no way I can lift my arm up. I can, however, lower my elbow all I want. So the point is to learn, if you lower the elbow, you can get into a position where you can take, see, we call it breaking the strength of the wrist, and your knuckles right in there and takes it off. Right, obviously you would want to add a hit, which would be nice, what they chose to add is that, right there. And the beauty of that is it checks this, so the next punch is the real thing. 